And um, I would just like to propose the idea, what if we take the moon and put it somewhere else? Or just make the moon bigger. If you're Peter, like that's actually what you do. Huh. You know what they say about big moons? Probably closer to it, I guess, I don't know. What's up, we're heading down to the sand dunes on a lightning trip. I'll flash up the definition of a lightning trip. So we're gonna get there and shoot sunset, and then we're gonna take some astro photos, maybe. Maybe. There's quite a bit of clouds out there, so we'll see how lucky we get. Crestone and Crestone Needle up at the end of the road. The sand dunes are kind of up over, well, where we're going is kind of up over close to that mountain over there. All right, B-Dog, you excited to use your 70 to 200 for the first time? Oh, you bet you. That's kind of a full statement. It's the first practical use. Taking a bunch of shots with it. Freaked out about how uh, sharp it is and stuff, but it's pretty good. So, pretty excited. Like. Right, we are in the parking lot of the sand dunes. We're getting ready to shoot sunset from here. It's kind of a cool setup here. We got the moon coming in over there. It's really beautiful. Kind of got some, maybe a little bit of high clouds. We'll see what is actually at the dunes when we get there. I'm gonna go shoot the sand dunes. <laughs> Says boring. the man with no camera. We're actually just gonna go uh, investigate. I'm just gonna go have coffee in the visitor center. <laughs> I wish they had coffee in the visitor center. It'd be nice. That's. I feel like that's how we could fund national parks. It's a special national park coffee blend that you can buy in the visitor centers and drink in the visitor centers. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Makes sense. You should open that roastery there, Brandon. So Brandon's gonna actually try his new lens out. Thought this would be a 20 mil shot, but it might actually be a 70 to 200 shot, so we'll see. It's very believable. This is what we're gonna be hopefully working with over here. So you've got the sand dunes out across there. Mountain right there, I'll flash the name up of that boy. And then that one back there. And uh, yeah. You are underexposing by two f stops. Yeah, I'll talk about that's a t stop. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, how you would fix that is you'd go on at least three t stops. You know, okay. three different t shops though. Sun is definitely setting officially. You can literally see that it's half gone. Still getting those peaks up there though. Confident about your shot there, B Dog. No, I'm taking the wrong shot right now. <laughs> we'll change it here in a second. <laughs> Try this. We're gonna do the bamboos to love everybody. Do this real quick. Oh god. How do you feel about it? I'm very confident with that comp. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks, instructor. Oh boys. Right, well, the sun just went down, and it's probably about time for me to take my sunglasses off. It's sad. It's not gonna happen. Oh my god! Just make like a wrap. Oh my gosh, everything looks so much less saturated. Oh my god, he's ugly! <laughs> I've been I gotten. 
It's some sweet blue tones over there, I think. I can't see them anymore. I took my sunglasses you would off. assume they're actually a light blue and vanilla purple. Vanilla purple? Vanilla purple? Yeah. Kemper's over here with his 200 to 600. The biggest lens here. What they say about the biggest lens? Probably the sharpest because it has the most glass elements in it. That's actually not what they say, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> don't believe him. <laughs> no one says that. Not one person. Not even one time. You know, sunset is slowly fading away, and we're gonna do some blue hour shots, hopefully, and get the snow from the sand dunes and snow from the mountain. Um, and hopefully get like a nice blue glow over all of it. It's actually pretty blue right now. Pretty blue. This is what I think Colorado should be themed blue and white. Yeah. And it's pretty unique to see so much snow around sand, sand, sand dunes, dunes. snow-capped mountains. It's a Colorado view. And yes, that is a building in the shot because we, we did not we did not hike because Kemper's leg is hurt. We're still at the visitor center visiting. Yeah. We accidentally broke his leg while skiing. It happens. By broke yeah. his leg, we meant pull like half the tendons, a tendon in his knee, a little bit of puppeteering. Really, and NCIS so, films. Brandon's having an existential crisis about the sharpness of his 70 to 200. I just can't yeah. tell if it's because I'm. Apparently, it only takes pictures of well. good-looking people sharp, like me. No, I wasn't very sharp for that photo, actually. I think it was crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Might be just how well. No, it's definitely like. I don't know if it's because it's wiggling too much. Huh? Oh, it's just not. Oh, it's your tripod. Oh, it you is. You're doing a long shutter speed on that tripod. I have told you that for years that that tripod's not going to do the job. Well, don't too worry, broke Toby's to. Using the same one. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm shooting at 105, not 200. Right. Yeah, that's fair. No, you're never gonna get a 72. Well, are you shooting close to 200 right now? Yeah, I'm at 200. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way I wanted to be sharp. Look at that majestic sunset out there. exposure of little bear and uh, with the phone app it's actually really nice so here we go we'll just run it for an arbitrarily long amount of time arbitrarily mostly to just annoy Peyton this was not it wasn't our original plan to come down here to the sand dunes and little bear um, we had aspirations of hiking into Rocky Mountain National Park and doing some stuff but on our ski trip last week I uh, took a pretty bad fall and wrenched my knee and had to get ski patrol up to save me. It was a whole thing. So I'm uh, doing landscape photography in easy mode tonight, sitting in the driver's seat of my car.
So, Peyton, why have you not been taking any pictures on this trip so far? My camera was so good, I had to throw it away. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit of Doritos in the back of my mouth. Um, we're not sponsored, but I'm really open to. Um, I really like nacho cheese. <laughs> um, I'm not not brand endorsing this or anything, but Taco Bell's also got, they are brand endorsed though. They're made by the Frito-Lay company, so if you're watching, you could really send a few bags my way. I'd really appreciate that. We, we'll, we'll definitely talk about them again. Um, but yeah, so my camera was so good that I had to throw it away. Um, because when I tried taking a photo, it was so beautiful. I went blind for 10 minutes. Happens to me too. Mm -hmm. For me, it's when I look in 